And hello everyone, this is Daniel with the Legacy of Daniel podcast. I thank you for taking the time to listen to this show, to check it out. This is the Ephesians and its mysteries, the book of Ephesians and its mysteries. Uh, this is a book on, um, there's a book that was written by Paul the Apostle, a letter, uh, a piece of literature, one of the greatest pieces of literature uh, ever written. Paul was a very intelligent man, um, and I just wanted to uh, make it clear that I am talking on this uh, piece of literature as a, almost like a book review. Uh, my goal is not to bring uh, Christ into this conversation, not to make him the center focal point or to uh, make him the, um, the shadow, uh, the overarching shadow over the show. I have no intention to uh, encourage anyone to, uh, uh, you know, to to find Christ or to believe in Him or God or anything like that. Nor do I intend to bring any evidence for the existence of God or or Christ's life. Uh, there is no there is no evidence for the uh, for God or uh, there is only uh, obedience, uh, which comes by hearing, and that is truly how faith comes by and. That's how we're all guided to our own unique individual uh, faith, uh, as stated in the uh, book of Galatians and also in the book of Ephesians. Uh, so don't uh, be swayed by these people that say you just you need Jesus and all your problems will go away. And It's not correct. It's not what the Bible says. You need yourself. You need your beauty. You need, uh, you need your garden. You need your creativity. Uh, and you need courage to cultivate it, uh, to keep it, uh, and to make sure that it's never, uh, never taken, uh, to keep your, your treasure, um, and continue to keep it and grow it, grow it into something, uh, great and make it, uh, presentable to share with the world. And that is what, uh, truly really what the, uh, what the Bible, uh, partly is about. And I think that's what the book of Ephesians is really about is, creating a beautiful life uh, through your through your individuality through your creativity through the faith uh, that is given to you uh, at birth that um, is a composition of many many things your your environment in which you're grown up into uh, your how you're raised uh, where you go to school uh, things you things you do things you find interest in skills you acquire all that is part of your faith, part of your foundation, and it is extremely beautiful. And do not allow anyone or anything to take any piece of your life away from you. Uh, your life is your soul. It's it's your creativity. It's your key to your creativity. It's the key to your to your destiny, to your to your beautiful destiny waiting for you. So, and sometimes we need to need to fight for it, and sometimes we need to fight to to get it back. And fighting to get it back is uh, is not always that that fun. So I'm here to kind of hopefully prevent uh, your your life, your beauty, your creativity, your soul from being taken from you. Uh, and hopefully, and if it has, well, I can help you uh, help you get it back because I know what that would know what that is like. And I think uh, in this uh, in this uh, show, I may want to talk about relationships because I think relationships are the key. Uh, really the key to life and the stronger uh the more loyalty well, let me rephrase that the more loyalty in your uh the relationships you have the stronger they're going to be and if there's a lot of loyalty there and you have all that strength you could basically conquer the world you can bring down any barriers you can do just about anything and that is what i believe uh and partly what uh we're kind of called to do and what we need to do we need to look out for each other we need to look out for ourselves as an individual and so that we can be strong for others and be loyal to others out in the world. And as we do that, we, uh, we bring peace between, between, uh, ourselves and between whatever relationships we may be. Um, and that is, that is very important peace and order, uh, very important. And it's very important to, uh, nurturing your creativity. And with that creativity, you can, uh, make your world a beautiful place, uh, not just for yourself, but for anybody else that would like to be a partaker of your beauty that you're bringing to the marketplace. So relationships are uh, very, very important. 
but they're also very interesting because we live in a weird time where uh, it's hard to understand relationships when we have a have a society that's built upon chaos and the worshiping of chaos and what I like to call the Captain America chamber where uh, predominantly young adult males are supposed to go out into the world and they're supposed to learn and it's supposed to be chaos, chaotic and somehow supposed to mimic uh, when Christ went into the wilderness. And um, But really, uh, there's really order. Um, chaos comes from the uh, really from man's mind when he uh, intently has an idea uh, an idea for someone that is really not ideal for that individual nor is it really what that individual is called for and so what they do is they just bring chaos into into society because they themselves don't want to actually do anything they're cowards um, or they're just jealous of a younger person may be having more potential. And what ends up, ends up happening is this chaos um, starts, um, you know, making you tired. It, it may make you lash out. It may make you angry and bitter. And now you start um, working, uh, working harder. Uh, you start competing more, which is very dangerous. Competition is, a, is really a waste of time. And we, sh- we, are not, uh, we are not here to compete with one another. We are here to strengthen uh, one another competition is a is a big lie that we've been sold in in this era um i mean there is some room for it uh, i guess in maybe the so-called free market where businesses compete or whatever but for the most part um when people are trying to get you to compete it's because they want to they want to tell you out it's a it's a game of attrition and when you're in this in this battlefield uh, people are intentionally trying to tire you out what they're trying to do is control you and manipulate you and take away your soul, take away your creativity and trying to get you to make mistakes. So you just fall into this deterministic, hedonistic uh, mindset where you just kind of get along to go along, which sometimes you do just need to uh, get along to go along. And that's kind of what relationships are about. Kind of, you know, you got to be loyal to uh, to some some people. And sometimes that requires trench warfare. And it can get uh, get ugly. It can get disgusting. But if you stick through, uh, stick through it, and you make the sacrifices, you give up, give up childish things, and stay, stay strong in whatever relationship you're in. Whether it's uh, just a friend, a spouse, uh, you know, family, being a, a core member of the family or a community. If you stay strong, um, everybody else around you will get strong. And it just it takes time. Sometimes it could. Sometimes may even take a lifetime, but if you stick to it, things will uh, become more orderly. Uh, things become more peaceful. Uh, there'll be more comfort and joy in the environment, in your life, in your mind, and people will start to to grow and mature in their own unique, uh, creative ways. And when this starts to happen, people start becoming more courageous. Um, they have more competence in the in the world. They can find more meaning and more purpose in their life and the things they're doing. And they can better t- p- uh, take part in, in the relationships that they're in. Um, and that, that doesn't just mean relationships with other, with other people. Uh, relationships uh, with you know where you're living, your home, uh, taking better care of yourself, taking better, better care of the home, improving the environment that what you're living in to make it more uh, enjoyable uh, for, all, for all members. Um, so there's a lot, a lot that goes into uh, relationships, and the most important thing is order and peace. Do not seek chaos, and do not allow chaos to come into your life. That is not how uh, order comes about. Order does not come out of chaos, nor does creativity come out of chaos. That is a uh, a very big lie, and as we can see in society, that that. Um, kind of idea like i said before the captain america chamber where you know, all you need is chaos and these young men are just going to come out and just be ready to uh, tackle all the problems in society that's just not not true so what we need is peace order comfort focus on strengthening uh, relationships uh, bring down those barriers be loyal be, be loyal. Be that guy that is loyal through trench warfare. And you can destroy just about any any evil. Uh, and it is something that 
Uh, you have to decide on your own. It's not easy because you have you can't have any concepts of morality. So when you're a loyal person, you're loyal. There is no there is no moral uh, guide. There is no moral line. Like if your friend crosses the line, it's like, oh, well, you're not a moral person anymore. So the loyal bond is gone. That's not how it goes. You're through it all, thick and thin, uh, no matter what. Uh, obviously, there is uh, some uh, some things you have to consider. Like if you just the person is just not a good person, they're mean, they're cruel, then obviously there is there won't be any loyalty there. But if the person truly, in their heart, wants to at least attempt to be somewhat of a decent person, um, doesn't intently want to hurt anybody or bring chaos in anybody's life, then you know loyalty will will sprout. And all you gotta do is just kind of uh, let time pass and. Over time, uh, it strengthens. So don't uh, don't worship chaos. Don't bring chaos in. Peace uh, and order very important in all relationships, no matter the relationship. Um, it's it's critical to society. It's critical to building a foundation. It's critical to fighting back against this fifty percent divorce rate. Uh, it's critical to fighting against this uh, comic book hero Captain America uh, chamber ideology where we're just uh, supposed to go through life, it's chaos, and we just come out of it a better person without any sense of ourselves, with no sense of identity, with no, with, without any creativity. Um, that's just uh, being treated like a dog is, uh, is uh, just evil. And you should not allow yourself to be treated like an animal at all, because if you allow that on yourselves, uh, it's going to be brought into your world and manifest onto uh, your relationships. So don't don't allow that to happen. We're not animals. We're not dogs. Uh, seek order. Seek creativity. Seek your destiny through strong relationships. Um, be loyal and uh, make sure peace and order all times in your in your life and in your environment. Uh, and when you when you keep that, you will begin to see who truly uh, belongs in your world and who doesn't, and who is trying to destroy your world. And when you uh, can see who's trying to destroy your world, your mindset changes a lot. And you can start to become enlightened through the passage of time. And you learn how to uh, kind of protect yourselves. So seek peace and comfort in your relationships. Be loyal uh, through, through thick and thin. And do not allow any chaos or evil or any form of wickedness to uh, try to take your life away.